such thing as a free lunch, but there is free beer. Geelong-based brewer Furphy is offering free beers to those who've been vaccinated at participating pubs once they're back open. It's part of their Vaxxed to the Pub campaign to help hospitality venues get back on their feet. I got a piece of darling, got no more time for loving you. Hey guys, welcome back to Wednesday's Tasting. I'm doing a furphy today. The reason why I'm doing it is it brings back a lot of memories for me. It's the first time that I drank something that had, uh, that was a craft beer. Absolutely awesome taste. I, I grabbed it and thought, wow, this is so nice. I'll give you a look at the bottle. That's a furphy. Now, furphy is a word that derives from something that happened many years ago. Um, apparently, this is what I read anyway, the Furphy website tells you this, that at wartime, the guys hung around the barrel that was fermenting the Furphy beer and drank beer and talked and spoke and told a few tales and lies. Now, in the Australian slang, the word Furphy means running a, a yarn, a tale, making up a story that's kind of true. Not really, if, that, if you know what I mean exaggerating a story it's absolutely an awesome word never knew it meant anything else other than <laughs> other than a exaggerated story or whatever basically the guys in Geelong at um little creatures created this beer as a, a thank you to the uh malt builders the um the fermenter builders they made stainless steel fermentation vessels and it was built by the Furphy family. So this is a commemorative beer, what I can tell. Uh, it's all I can find out about it. I don't know much about dates, but there's some great information on it. That otherwise, there's pretty much not much history that I can find online. I went on Wikipedia, I couldn't find anything there either. When I first tried this, I was in Sydney the first time in my life. I drove my little S-Pack Commodore, red S-Pack Commodore, which I sold to my son. He's still got it. And uh, went to the pub and said, I'll try a Furphy. I'll see what that's like. Poured a drink and went, oh my God, there's hops in this. Didn't know that what they were at the time. This is 2013. Uh, forgive the creek, guys. Back door's open. Uh, got a visitor coming. I'm not sure when's going to get here, but anyway, we'll see how we go. <laughs> so Furphy's write-up is, Furphy is a refreshing ale that is Geelong-born and brewed using 100% Victorian malts and hops. The first sip is clean and crisp with a subtle balance of fruit and malt to keep it interesting. The finish is smooth and pleasantly refreshing. Giving, given our Geelong Brewery used to be an old mill, it's no surprise Furphy is, a, is an easy drinking ale that's perfect for the session of yarn spinning. <laughs> Go against Furphy. All right, shall we pour the drink? Was there something there? Oh, it's not a twist top. Just grab it. Bottle opener. Right. Use that twice in my life. <laughs> it was a gift from the kids, uh, a bottle opener. I'll, I'll give you a photo of that later and just show you what it is. Um, so I'll give it a quick smell. Just a beautiful, mild scent of hops and malt smell. Right, we'll pour it, huh? Now, I don't know how clean my glass is. I haven't cleaned it properly, so... Hopefully it doesn't show you too much dirtiness. Beautiful. It's got a bit of cloudiness to it, just a small amount. Definitely that beautiful little hot flavour that the Perfy has. It's subtle, it's not extreme or anything like that. Um, yeah, quite nice, very refreshing. So it's 4.4% alcohol volume, which is just nice. You don't need to have too much alcohol. The flavor is extremely beautiful. This is why it's so popular. It's a really good beer. 
Um, like I said, when I was in Sydney, I taste this for the first time, and it's more like a craft beer than a, just a standard beer from the, from the tap, but it just comes out really nice. It turned me on to craft beer, and this is why now I brew. One of the reasons why I got turned into brewing, and loving craft beer as well. Beautiful beer. Um, hey, how you going, mate? Uh, yeah, really, really. Yeah. Hey, Cornelius, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, you can have, have a try. You can have a yeah, try, yeah. yeah. Check it out. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. Wow. Not really strong in hops, though. Oh, I like the hoppy stuff. Yep. Yeah. Oh, much better. Yep, yeah, much better. Yeah, it's all right. Love it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's a good beer, isn't it? Oh, yeah, more. Hey? You going to mow the lawn? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the rest of it back, mate. Cheers, yeah. mate. Okay, we'll, we'll see you later on. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. See ya. Yeah, hey, no worries. We'll catch you later on. When you finish here, yeah, see you later. Yeah, ciao. There you go. <laughs> Cornelius made an appearance. He's not here often. Cheers. So like I said, it's a really refreshing beer. Very tasty. Um, I couldn't give it a five star because I've had some five star beers just recently. This doesn't reach up to that, but it, it's a good beer altogether. You'll get it probably four and a half star, something like that. Nice tasting beer, malty, kind of sweet, no, not much bitter. Uh, topaz, I think it's Topaz, uh, it's a Victorian grown Topaz hops. And what was the other one? It was Victory Hops, I think it was called. That's what I had in it. So great beer, awesome stuff. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm feeling a bit run down this week. I had a uh, co uh, COVID, my second vaccination of COVID. Got a pretty hard headache going on. It's not a hangover. So I'm on my, I'm pretty well vaccinated now, so I can travel. So I should be able to be able to get out and do stuff soon when all the restrictions are over. And uh, my arm hurts. <laughs> no, it's all good. I think everybody else is going through this too. So cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.